loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally showing you guys my skincare routine. Those of you who have been watching me for a while, you probably would have seen my skin change a lot over the past year. However, if you didn't know, once upon a time, about a year ago, I did have a pretty bad acne, so I was put onto a course of Accutane, and since finishing that, my skin has virtually remained clear. However, the number one question that I do get asked is, how did you fade your acne scarring? So stay tuned if you want to learn all my tips, tricks, and secrets on maintaining my clear skin. Alrighty, so first things first, I got to get all that cake off my face. And on this particular day, I had a lot of it. So I like to use the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. I take one pump in the palm of my hand, rub my hands together and just go in on my face. I start with my cheeks, work up through the T-zone to my forehead and I remove my eye makeup with it last. Yes, this does remove eye makeup, removes lash glue, mascara, waterproof mascara. Yes, girl, I know a lot of you guys are probably having a hard time when it comes to waterproof mascara. This gets the job done. Essentially, this is an oil-based cleanser, which is great for me because I do have a naturally oily skin type. If you guys didn't know, oil attracts oil. So what this does is it not only removes my makeup, but I feel like it pulls the oil from within my pores because I do have a naturally oily skin type. Essentially, my pores are a lot larger than a person with dry skin. So the fact that this removes the oil from within my pores as well as gets all the makeup off my face. It's just awesome. So yeah, as you can see, it does a good job. It gets everything off, but my face is left looking a little bit worse for wear, but that's okay. After I'm satisfied with that, I go ahead and lather my hands up and kind of just rub that into my skin further while I rinse it off. And then on the days when I have a little bit of extra eye makeup to get off, because let's bear in mind that I don't wear this much makeup on an everyday basis, I like to go in with the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water on a cotton swab and just rub that over my eyes just to make sure that I'm getting every little bit of eye makeup off my face. Now, when it comes to actually cleansing my face, I do prefer to use a brush as opposed to just my hands. I feel like it is way more effective at making sure all of that dirt is off my skin. And guys, it is so important to make sure everything is off your face before you hit the hay. So I have been enjoying the Vanity Planet Spin for Perfect Skin brush. They were so kind enough to send this out to me and I've been using it every single night since. What I love about it most is the fact that it comes with interchangeable brush heads so you can virtually use this all over your body. So this massive brush head right here is the body brush, which you can use all over your entire body, especially those of you guys who self tan. This would be great when it comes to exfoliating. Then we have the pumice stone, which you can use on the bottom of your feet, your knees and your elbows. This right here for a deep clean is the exfoliating brush. However, on an everyday basis, I prefer to just use the cleansing brush because the bristles are super soft for my delicate skin. For cleanser, I like to use the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. This stuff is amazing because you only need the tiniest little pea size amount and it lathers up really nicely on the skin. So I've already dampened my brush head and my face is still a little bit wet from rinsing off that pre-cleanse. And essentially what I do is just run this all over my face for a good few minutes. I love the fact that this brush does all the work for you because it does spin. So I pretty much just run this all over my face, let it spin, let it do its thing, and afterwards my skin is as smooth as a baby's butt. The fact that this is gently cleansing and exfoliating my face every single night, I feel like it really does help to reduce the size of my pores, which in turn helps with the repair of my scarring. So for those of you guys who are wanting to get rid of your scarring, gently exfoliating your skin is key. If you guys want to get one of these bad boys for yourself, Vanity Planet was so nice enough to actually give me a discount code for my subbies. So if you enter the code SPINFULAZELLE at checkout, you can receive this item for 70% off, which is just insane. The awesome thing about it as well is that it's covered by a one-year warranty and Vanity Planet does ship internationally. So I will leave the website link and the code down below in the description box. 
So once I'm done cleansing my face, I just take the brush head off the unit, rinse it under some warm water till it is clean, and then it is good to go for the next time I use it. So at this point, I'm ready to rinse off my face, but before I do, I continue to lather up my face with my hands. I'm very thorough when it comes to cleansing my skin. I just want to make sure that everything is covered and good to go. And then once I'm happy with it all, I do go ahead and rinse my face off. I like to use water that is just, just warm, not too hot, not too cold, just a little bit warm. And then once I have rinsed my face, I go ahead with a clean towel and pat my face dry. Now that my face is all nice and dry, I like to go in with my secret weapon. These are hydrocolloid stickers, and essentially they're little stickers that you stick onto your pimples, and they help to reduce the size of them significantly. I stick these on whenever I have a random little pimple here or there. The next morning, the pimple will be gone. I'll insert a picture of the brand that I use because I lost the packaging somehow, but these things are amazing. So next up is eye cream. This one in particular is like my ride or die. I cannot live without this stuff. This is the Dermalogica Multivitamin Power Firm. You can actually use this like on any types of fine lines that you have on your face. So like laugh lines, any other fine lines that you may have, but I mainly use it for underneath my eyes. It has honestly worked wonders. Like I cannot, I honestly cannot live without this product. It, it does cost a pretty penny, but I willingly buy it every single time because I just can't live without it. So I take the teeniest little amount on my ring fingers and just go ahead and pat that on the skin underneath my eyes. Now for the rest of my face, I moisturize with the Neutrogena Oil-Free Moisturizer for sensitive skin. I take one pump for my forehead and then one pump for my cheeks and decollete. This is honestly the most inexpensive moisturizer that I have ever used, but my skin loves it. And I love the fact that it is so inexpensive because I never have to feel bad when I need to repurchase it. I was actually recommended this moisturizer by my dermatologist, so I have been using this ever since I was put onto Accutane, and honestly, I'm too scared to try anything else because my skin really does love this stuff, so yeah, you don't fix what ain't broke. So this is what a lot of you guys have been waiting for, how I faded my acne scarring. This is it right here, all thanks to this bad boy, 100% pure vitamin E oil. I've been using this stuff ever since I was a teenager. You don't have to use this exact brand, guys. As long as it is 100% pure vitamin E oil, it will do the trick. So I pretty much just take a generous amount onto my finger and just blended onto my face. I don't really have much acne scarring at the moment. It is very faint, but I still like to use this just to make sure I'm, you know, doing everything good I can for my skin. It helps with the cellular regeneration process of the skin, which is why it's so good for fading acne scars, but you can also use it for different things like burns. If you have dry skin, you can use it for stretch marks, sunburn. It, it's pretty much like a multi-use product. I honestly use this for everything, and I even use it as a lip balm before I go to bed because I cannot go to sleep unless my lips are moisturized. And last but not least, I just take a spritz of the Mario Badescu facial spray all over my face. I use this, honestly, all hours of the day. It just feels really nice. And yeah, that is my skincare routine. So that was my skincare routine, guys. I hope this answered a lot of your questions. But if you have any more for me, don't hesitate to ask down below. I'm more than happy to help you guys out. Also, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the videos I post. And also, if you are interested in getting one of those Spin for Perfect Skin brushes by Vanity Planet, check all of those links out down below. Anywho, I hope you guys are having a fabulous fabulous week and I shall catch you all in my next video. Stay glowy!